Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and just before I start the tutorial I just want to give you some quick information. Now as our videos are getting quite a few views and you guys are requesting more and more tutorials I've decided to schedule our uploading on a weekly basis. So starting as of this Tuesday and every Tuesday after will be the day I upload a tutorial. Now I'm doing this to keep our channel fresh and give it regular content so it helps you guys learn something new every week from us and gives you more of a reason to keep checking us out. Also in a few weeks time we will start to be doing app reviews. Now I'm not too sure which day I'll schedule that on but that will also be a regular video every week but that's in a few weeks to come. So thanks for listening to this little quick information and I'll now get straight into the tutorial. Okay then, so today I'll be showing you how to create a counting timer. Now these are most commonly seen in applications on Facebook, for example, Mafia Wars, where it counts down every hour and at the end of the hour you are rewarded with your income. Or they are also seen in everyday items such as a stopwatch, where it simply counts up every second. But I'll be showing you a very simple and basic version with a simple tap of a button, it's going to count up every second to the number you have set it to. So simply go into Xcode, File, New Project. Make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone. And I'll name this Timer. Save that. Make it bigger so we can all see and go straight into our classes file and into the timer view controller.h and we can start by typing in our first IB outlet which will be a UI label and this is where oh, this is where the timer will be obviously displayed and obviously where it will be counting up and we're going to name it seconds and that with a semicolon, press enter and now we're going to want to, want to add our timer so we type in ns timer space and we'll name our timer simply timer nice and easy and that with a semicolon and enter again then we add our int space, capital main, capital int, so it's easier to read, and that with a semicolon, and then we want to go down to our, where we add our action button in, so dash, bracket, ib action, bracket, and we name our action button simply start, and bracket, id, sender and over curly bracket and we need to void the count up so we simply add our void in simply void bracket and name it count up very very simple and then that very semicolon we can simply save that and then go straight to our view controller dot m And we can start by typing in the void, so bracket, void, bracket, oh. and we named it count up, space, curly bracket, enter. Now we enter our int in, which we named it capital M, main int. Put in the capitals just so it's easier to read and stands out a little bit better. And then we do a this is where we're going to want to add our count up, so you can either do a plus or a minus depending on which way you want your count to go. But in this example, it's going to add up, so type in our plus button equals, and then the number we're going to want to add it up in. But because we're doing it in seconds, we want to add up one every second, we simply type in the number one. And that semicolon, and then press enter. And type in seconds.text, which is our label. Enter equals 
space bracket capital NS string space string with format and this highlighted section here we want to type in the at symbol quotation mark percentage sign letter I and then we record another quotation mark comma space and again our int main int finish up a bracket semicolon press enter and end it with a curly bracket and that's all we need for our void and we simply press space a couple of spaces and this will add our IB action so dash bracket IB action bracket we named it start so we type in start ID sender space curly bracket enter we type in our int again main int space equals space zero as that's what's the um, counter is going to be at the start zero and space and then we add on our ns timer which we called it timer space equals space bracket capital ns timer space now we type in scheduled now as it's highlighted here we do not want the, the, the current line of code so we simply tap the escape bar and we want the second line as it's there's two codes with this scheduled timer we want the second one, we'll just press enter scroll along now in the first highlighted section in our schedule timer with time interval we're going to want to put it 1.0 is how many seconds we're going to want for it to add up so we can do it without one second to so add up every second and the target here, we just simply put self in the selector we put at selector bracket counter bracket and our user info I want to put nil and repeat as we want to want it to repeat every second we simply put yes finish with a bracket semicolon press enter and we finish up the whole IB action with a curly bracket simply save that and that's all that coding that's needed there, so we can go straight into our resource, our resources folder, sorry, straight into the view controller.nib. We're adding our button and our label, and then link them up together to create the little counting timer. So we just wait for the view controller to .nib to load up. Okay then, so once it's loaded, we simply want to drag in our round rec button and also drag in our label. I'll name the round rec button start, well, we'll call it start there, so it's simple. And I'll just put this zero and center it. So it's easier to understand. And then once we've done that, I'm going to go into our files owner, click our connections, and then go drag the seconds to our label and drag the start to our start button. Touch up inside. We we'll simply save that and quit it. And we make sure it's in the simula iPhone simulator for the iPhone, yeah. And we're straight away into build and run. It's ready to load up. Should be no problems as all the code is correct. It's ready for it to load up now. Okay, then, so all we simply do is press start, and every second it adds one to our counter. So we go now. So one, two, three. Now, this is a very simple way to create a counter, and if you want to elaborate on it, you can change the plus sign from a minus, so you can start taking away. Or you can change the input, so instead of it adding one every second, you can add 20 every second, or set the timer for adding one every 2.5 seconds, or every five, however you want to do it, it's nice and simple. So I hope this helps you in all your tutorials and projects. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, rate the video, comment it, send me a message, make sure or send me a message if you want to request any tutorials yourself. And also remember that as of this Tuesday, I'll be uploading a tutorial every week. So nice, nicely scheduled for your learning. And I'll see you all 
Well, next Tuesday.